Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft uh, Feedback. We're going to be reading some now. So the first one we have here is the Blessings. It's the idea of an opposite enchantment to curse, which it didn't vote. And uh, the reason I don't like it is because it would counteract the curse and the ones that are mentioned would be OP because the purpose of the curses is so that they can you know be a bad thing in fact I think there should be some incentive for curses an enchantment that only happens on cursed tools and this is my idea an enchantment happens only on cursed tools. It's my idea to make curses great again, as currently they're only good for pranks. When their original purpose was to make good items, like, have a downside. And, okay, so for this enchantment, I don't know if I, okay, I'll just say it again. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but, prank, the current curses are only good for pranks, when the original purpose was to make it so that good items would be, like, oh, they would have a down. Okay, yeah, sorry, I, I already said that. I don't think any of the curses currently present would actually be good for this one, though. Because the idea should expand to multiple different enchantments. The only bad thing about this one is that... It requires a bad curse since it would increase damage on any tool, just flat out. The gimmicks that it only happens on cursed tools can't get be gotten through any other means. Unlike mending, they made the mistake of having it. They made the mistake of having mending being available to villagers, where, and now it's kind of annoying to get. You have to get it. And it's not fun to get either. You have to do villagers. And you don't have to do f villagers in a fun way. You have to do villagers in a boring way. In order to get mending. So. Currently. Th this would uh. In. Th things like this. Uh. Would be good. Well I can't edit it. Basically it would stack with sharpness. Etc. And paling as well. And it would need to be put on top of the bad curse, because binding and vanishing aren't bad enough to make you want a to make you make you think twice about just extra damage. Binding only works on armor too, so yeah. Next, we have an improvement to slabs. I ain't gonna spend too much on this one, time on this one, but basically, it. Actually, no, I actually am, because I voted for it, which means it's good. Tiles take up half a block. You could place things like redstone on them. Now, aside from this possibly breaking the game, it should be in the game because it would be cool and it makes sense. Moving on to Copper Shield. And boy, oh boy, do I not like this one very much. I, I don't like this one because there's a ton of Copper Shield ideas. And number two, it's uncreative. Doesn't put a new spin on it. Just, just Copper Shield, that, that's it. Of course, it's, other than that's a cool idea, it's just that it's already been done to death, so my suggestion better. And that is Lightning Shield. Now, I might have gone over this in a previous episode, but I don't care. You don't have to watch those episodes. Or you could just go on feedback.minecraft.net, add your own suggestions, and then they might get in the video. When the player holds the lightning shield in their hand on an off hand, it would act like a lightning odd trigger and player with lightning if there isn't when there is any, taking priority over any lightning rod in the area. The lightning would 
still wound the player unless they block it with shield, charging it. The, sh the charge would make the player's next melee attack have lightning strike the player mob they attacked. It would also apply to tridents with the channeling enchantment with throne, allowing lightning to strike twice in the same spot. The charge would last for an amount of time before being lost and requiring the player to charge it again. Summarize, lightning shield- oh shoot! Oh, and the charge should probably go away once attacked with. <sighs> Next, we have Player Observer. Yeah, I don't really like this one because we already have trip wire hooks. And pressure plates. So no. And next up we have fire pepper. The suggestion is simple. And the person is probably also simple. But that's fine. Because it's a pepper plant that lets you breathe fire. And it could revolutionize the food mechanic in Minecraft. For example. Let's say you eat it, and then instead of the burp sound effect, you spit a blaze fireball. That's my idea. Now, of course, it does need some refining. Literally. I don't think you should be able to eat the fire pepper raw. I think you should be able to put it in a dish, and then you eat it, and then pew, you spit out a blaze fireball. Uh, also, I think, uh, yeah, things like that would be cool. Now... I don't think the freezing effect is actually that bad. Though I guess the last time I fell into a uh, thing... Well, yeah, this is unrelated, by the way. I don't think the freezing effect is that bad that you get from powdered snow. But that's only because I take a bucket everywhere with me. So, if you, if you don't have a bucket and you don't have leather boots, then it can be bad. However, it's only really... It's, it's still underutilized, I think, because there's not... I guess there's stuff in the mountains, but it's still underutilized for how it could work. And because we're li we, we, what we need is, like, super deep powdered snow and something that freezes you. Because it slows you down when you're freezing, and also, in addition to being slowed down when you're freezing, unless you have leather armor, which adds use to leather armor, it's, it's, it's cool, basically. You can have leather armor have a use for freezing, add it to a mob. We need a mob that freezes you. Stop. And now, next up, we have Freeze or Frostbite. It's an enchantment idea. It would work like Fire Aspect or Flame. Placed on weapons, it would give the entity or player the freezing debuff found when traversing through powdered snow. It would also, it would also give temporary slowness, less than a potion would deal. It wouldn't work on bosses, but would be more effective towards creatures like blazes and magma cubes. It would be impactful with fire aspect or flame, and cause maybe a visual effect of a light blue tinge surrounding a player or mob, either slowing down, escaping mobs, or allowing for a quicker escape. I don't like this one personally, cause the snow thing needs like its own weapon, cause it, it's cold, and you're you're putting an enchantment, and it's enchanted. We have fire aspect, and, but I I. I I don't like it. It kind of makes sense, but I'd rather it be like its own thing. In fact, maybe you could freeze when you get hit by snowball. Okay, so next up we have entities hit by snowballs gain the frost effect, and the it's referring to the powdered snow, and it hasn't been uh, changed. I don't think um. I don't think- I prefer, uh, this one over this one. Wait. 
Both of these are in the wrong category. It's block. It's an item. You're improving the item. So, this one says, thrown. Begin for one second. Throwing my arms. Damage. Depending on fire. I say yes. But, yeah, uh, that. Um. Wrong category. <laughs> Hopefully, they move it instead of deleting it. Next up, we have Power Snow Should Freeze Faster, and I agree. <laughs> Should break slower with your fist. Oh my gosh. Okay, Powdered Snow Shouldn't Freeze Sheep. Sheep from the freeze and powdered snow, cup of shears, jeep, they would die. Go to the show. Yep, I agree. Makes sense. Next up, we have sewing a cold light on the freeze and you. Yeah. Yes. Breath of the Wild reference. And because of this one's a bit more popular, we can actually scroll through the comments. Snow air frozen. Let's go and put space to live underwater. Yes! So that, that just slows it down. Yeah. It just makes sense for you to still have food since you'll still be wet. No! Yes! Yep. Uh, I mean, yeah, but it, it's fun. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. Pirate's nose, quicksand, points and drip stones are spikes. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, freeze effect of you so far, so freeze the Yeah. It's, it's one block. It's useless. And also that. It's cool. Da, 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 da. Next up. We have a new enchantment for the bow. That's conserve. Uh, it would be a new... Oh. It shouldn't be for bows. Because... Basically. You... It's the unbreaking mass of ch to set the chance of using arrows, going up to level 4. Then you become compatible with mending, but conserve arrows will not be able to pick up. Now, the proposed benefit is that you can use me mending. Except also, because it's not infinity, you can use it with firework rockets. And with the other uh, tip the arrows, right? Tip my tongue, and it, you could just add infinity. I think it would actually be more interesting if you it if you added it to crossbows only. Only on crossbow. And yes, I made this one because I can edit it. Okay, now we have ability to place torches on the sides of lower half of labs. Th that's yes, because it makes sense. It it just makes sense. It's, it's on the lower half of the block, so it should be able to go on the lower half slabs. Wait, but what about... By this logic, it shouldn't work on upper half slabs. Now next up, we have placing gra planting grass items on moss, bricks, slash cobblestones. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. You should be able to place uh, grass things on mostly. Have it be a plantable block, kind of like dirt. 
And that that would be amazing for builds. And pork chop, pork chop blocks crafted with nine pork chop. Must be subject. Oh my gosh. Um, let me think here. That's not good for food safety, so it's unsanitary. And you, it would be more efficient to store it in chests. So no. Juggernaut armor. Oh. This isn't interesting. Moving on. Let's see. Sword, saber, stamina. We don't have stamina. Oh, stamina as in, like, the hit thing. Okay. So, the the way it works is you have a stan... The, the sta by stamina, they mean the, like, the time between hits to deal full damage. Um, yet again. We already have the axe. We... Already have the axe instead of the yet again, and we don't really need any more damage than more options than that. And I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. Now we have potion scrolls. Let's see, how does this one work? They would be a very rare drops from witches or would... Oh, okay. Basically an in-lore explanation on how do you make a potion? Instead of just throwing random things into a potion thing, which is not intuitive at all. Definitely. Kind of like in Wrath. Eh. Okay, stromatolite. Block turning by me. Okay, so this is a reference to biology. This will be epic. Yes. Only problem is it doesn't technically follow the guidelines. Any armor requires in world. Eh. Mm. No. While they do need more demand, I don't think they should be placed in armor. Especially since then that would take away the idea that the leather armor protect you. Also, you you can just make your skin have a gambeson and then you're done. Drink from wool blocks for peaceful mode. And oh boy, here we go. Alternatively, at back stream from cobwebs, which was a bedrock feature that was removed. And in fact, in Minecraft bedrock, you can craft the cobweb into nine strings. Useful when you game for graining string or wool when you come across a Minecraft. This feature is only in Minecraft Bedrock and it was removed. And they removed it from Bedrock. They, we, they really need to stop removing features from Bedrock. And instead add them to Java. Now, th they did remove the shovel from the Bedrock recipe. Eh, yada yada. I, I kinda think the shovel should be added back. But mixed opinions. So... And it's overall probably a good thing. Next. Shoot God Webs of Crossbows. Minimum, 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 
Uh, oh, yes, definitely. It would give, uh, basically make crossbow better. On sides, require this place. Yeah, sure. String cobweb shield should be able to burn. Definitely. Not enough things burn. Like, the grass doesn't burn. Dirt, well, dirt does shouldn't burn, but, like, only wooden things like that burn. Only, like, wood derivatives burn. So, trees. That's it. String doesn't burn. Uh, things that also should be flammable are... Let's see. Yeah, I guess just wood derivatives is most of the flammable objects in real life. But any plant should be able to burn. Any plant should be able to burn. Okay, shroom for and as I mentioned, it should parody. Animal mushrooms in caves, but structure looting berries. I, I don't think this should be added, honestly, because it. I don't think this should be added because it would make players want to go in the caves way too early. So yeah, y you want to prepare for the caves. You want to pack food. That's part of the game. So no. Add root. Add a use for reet roots. Beet roots is rarely used. The problem isn't with beet roots themselves. It's with the food system as a whole. Basically, special effects are usually how you make food interesting, and those are already done by potions. Next, iron arrow. Hunter arrows short distance to be at short distance could be shields, dependent on genetic, but we have to use an drop uh, much greater drop in arrows. Spilling a new arrow, give it to a nuke. Would be a mid game of development and have it not in use. Let's see what people think. As it is. Um, but iron makes more sense. Uh. Oh, right. Very shot though. It should only be shot by crossbows by because crossbows shoot heavier things. Right click player to hand over bundle. We're not strong. Has for items. This is a good idea. Pitcher plants should attract and damage arthropods. Simple idea, although it could work well for malforms and depending from and defending from spiders and all and other hostile arachnids somewhat early on. I was inspired by the pitcher plants, carnivorous nature, and strategy of tricking prey, so I think it would be Yes, definitely. One hundred percent though maybe without the damage. Next, we have oak resin. Oak tree could give you resin. It'd be with a bottle. After dripping an oak log, you could use a file to liquid resin. Uh, would, be, would be waiting a certain amount and crystallize. Which, have, which, would, which ha, can have a certain chance to have an item inside if it is in a swamp biome. Six oak leaf apples, insects, 
and six stone like this, you could use the bottles of resin for an item to get in wet and caves and have to crystallize. And then I'm just, and it's after the tree, you get breach log a tree that has some different colors. Um, yes, but no. Um, I think we should add tree tapping instead, and that would actually give a new use to most trees. So, uh, yeah, time to make thing. I have done it! Yes, I have done it. I have made the tree tapper as a suggestion. Tree tapper would be a new block that could be placed on a no big tree. And it would have a, it, which the requirements would likely be a log with the natural leaves on it. Tree would, tapper would be crafted like a bucket, except instead of iron, it's copper. Sorry if you're blind, but it looks like this. I don't know how to attach an image. If you do, please comment below and tell me. Like, seriously, I don't know. Please, help. Um, basically, once a day, placed on the tree, the player could collect sap from a tree tap, and they'd only be able to collect one sap per tree per day. And then every tree would have its own specific tree sap, and so it's like, you have tree sap, and then, yeah. Um, I'm gonna search something up real quick. Okay, so, ma oh wait, no, that's ma milky mangrove. Our mangroves, mangroves, two, bang up. Um, well, I think it should be a reference to this. Most trees have likely have poisonous sap, so, however, earth, birch trees do not have poisonous sap in real life. I mean, used to make syrup. Basically, um, I made it, I didn't want to put it in the post, because that would technically be against the rules. Though also technically not be against the rules, because it's kind of needed. But I can just leave it up to comments section. So please do reply. Next up, we have cow milk projection. The idea is simple. The cows need to eat sheep, eat, eat real wool. And yes, this needs to be added. Because currently, you need one cow. That's all. Just one. And... With this, you would actually have to wait, and you couldn't trap your cows underground. Doesn't make sense that cows can be infinitely milked, and that in sense of having more cow, even if you only want milk. Next up, we have gold milk. Goats should have more purpose in Minecraft. It would be good if we could make milk goat for a special new milk, which would be called Bucket of Goat Milk. As example, regular cow milk removes effect, maybe goat milk and buff effects. Example 1, poison 1, poison 2. What? What? What does this mean? As regular removes effect. Oh, goat milk would buff effect. It would turn poison one into poison two, so you die quicker. Of course, just what we need. Okay, well, we can already buff potions. But... This is pointless. But I voted for it, and I'm gonna continue my vote. The grammar's bad. <laughs> okay, and now we have one I made, which is Frostfighters. 
basically, the freeze effect is underutilized. So, frost spiders. So now, skeletons can turn into strays, and dunked in powdered snow, spiders can turn into frost spiders. Without the addition of a new biome, uh, this would be the only way to get frost spiders other than having them um, spawn in already existing cold biomes. Because I think there should be stuff in the cold, in the, uh, cold biomes. Um, there should be new cold biomes, like ice caves. Frost spiders should, would deal no damage, however, would give the player 3 seconds of powdered stone per hit. And it would stack. In addition, frost spiders would have an attack speed similar to a magma cube, so they would do a lot of damage to players with armor. Powdered snow effect gained from frost spiders would be this would function the exact same as it does with powdered snow, meaning the player would be slow to take damage unless they wore leather armor. Basically, yeah, you get hit by a frost spider once, then run away. You're fine. You just got slowed for a little bit, but if, but if you let the frost bear get a bunch of hits off on you, the, you're you're gonna get froze. But like the main danger of a frost bear wouldn't be the frost bear itself. On their own, frost bears chill. <laughs> but um, psh, uh, the main danger would be that there's other mobs, and then you're stuck in place. And the strays can shoot you. And man, like all of the mobs spawn in the ice bottom. This would complement the stray, giving you slowness, thus giving it time to catch up to you and freeze you in place more. <laughs> okay, yeah, this would be really cool. And you could write it off as frost spiders having a neurotoxin that make you feel cold. So, you can't, you can burn while freezing. <laughs> it's a neurotoxin. Honorable mention goes to uh, frost spirits, they're cool. Honorable mention also goes to naval outpost. Okay, so the frost castle would spawn in the ice bi spikes biome and other such biomes. However, it would be uh, buried underground under a large area of powdered snow at, that is at least 10x10x10 10 10 10 to give away that something's up. Because you, you'd fall into s powdered snow and there'd be several blocks of it. And then you're, you're falling through powdered snow and there's at least 10 blocks of it. You'd fall down several more blocks into a pool of water. From there, there would be a K. You'd fall several blocks down, and you're in a pool of water. And then, there, there, from there, there would be a small cave leading to the frost castle. However, the cave would be very icy, as well as the frost castle, as per their name. It has snow bricks, ice, snow, or such materials. We need ice bricks, because that would work very well. Inside, there would be uh, stuff. There would be chests. There would be diamonds, iron, and other such loot. Lastly, Frost Castle would have stray spawn inside of it, as well as proly bears and any other ice mobs. Those were added. As it sounds, the cast ba Frost Castle would be boring without new items and mobs, because that's kind of supposed to be the traction of the Frost Castle. So yeah, that's the end of this episode. See you next one.